Hello, I'm Interim Commissioner Shawanda Reynolds Cobb. Welcome to the DJJ Update. Here's what's happening around the agency. The Georgia Department of Juvenile Justice was pleased to announce the agency's 2023 DJJ Teacher of the Year is Melissa Brinson Gordon. Brinson Gordon is a social studies and English teacher at the Martha K. Glaze RYDC in Clayton County. With DJJ since 2018, Brinson Gordon has more than 20 years of experience as an educator, having worked in the DeKalb County and Atlanta public school systems. This is the second year in a row that the DJJ Teacher of the Year has come from Martha K. Glaze RYDC. Congratulations to Melissa Brinson Gordon and all of this year's nominees. The Crisp, Terrell, and Loftus Regional Youth Detention Centers obtained national reaccreditation from the American Correctional Association. The secure facilities for justice-involved youth underwent robust operations and treatment service audits, receiving reaccreditation during the ACA's Winter Conference in Orlando, Florida in January. I am very excited today about our accomplishment for receiving our reaccreditation for ACA. I would like to give a shout out to my Chris OYDC staff and the executive team for their hard work and dedication through this audit. I would just like to say on today, we were reaccredited for our ACA standards. I would like to say a special thank you to my staff. I would like to say a special thank you for um, our support system with DC Hill. Um, ADC Stokes, ADC McNeely, and our regional administrators. So on today, I would like to say kudos to Loftus RYDC. We have been reaccredited. I want to take the time to thank all of my security staff, my administrative staff, my non-security staff, including my medical team. Um, we have received our accreditation um, here in the great city of Orlando. I want to take, thank the executive team. I want to thank my regional administrator, Mr. Mathis, for being a great help. All three facilities scored 100% on the ACA mandatory standards. This marks the second time these facilities have obtained this national achievement. Congratulations and keep up the good work. The American Correctional Association held elections and six Georgia DJJ staff members have been elected to positions across the various ACA boards. Deputy Commissioner Latera M. Davis was elected to the Board of Governors. Deputy Commissioner Pamela Hill to the Commission on Accreditation for Corrections as well as the Delegate Assembly. Chief of Psychological Service, Dr. Ron Kuhn, to the Commission on Accreditation, and Director of Health Services, Dr. Michelle Stapleshorn, Director of Behavioral Health, Dr. Christy Duell, and Juvenile Program Manager, Evangeline Harp, were all elected to the Delegate Assembly. Congratulations on your achievements, and we're proud of the work you're doing to make a difference in the field of corrections in Georgia and internationally. DJJ board member Dr. Thomas Coleman was presented with the Nathaniel Mosby Humanitarian Award by DeKalb County CEO Michael Thurman during their 39th annual Martin Luther King Jr. Day celebration on January 13th at the Maloof Auditorium in Decatur. The award celebrates the recipient's commitment to tireless community service and outstanding dedication to being an agent for positive change. Congratulations, Dr. Coleman. DJJ would like to welcome Judge Quintress Gilbert to the Board of Juvenile Justice. Governor Kemp appointed Judge Gilbert to serve on the board as the 8th Congressional District Representative. She was sworn in on January 26, 2023, and will serve a five-year term with current board members. Welcome, Judge Gilbert. 
January was National Human Trafficking Prevention Month, and DJJ continued our commitment to bringing awareness to help in human trafficking in the United States and globally. The DJJ Blue Campaign Team invited DJJ members to support the cause by participating in Wear Blue Day. Blue is the international color of human trafficking awareness and DJJ members could wear their favorite blue outfit or clothing item to share on social media. Thank you to the DJJ Blue Campaign Team and all who participated. February was Black History Month, and to celebrate, DJJ hosted several programs and activities at DJJ facilities across the state. Youth at these facilities presented projects, participated in Black History Bowls and Challenges, performed skits, and had an art gallery. In recognition of February as Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month, the DJJ Division of Community Services and Office of Victim and Volunteer Services hosted an educational event about the prevalence of teen dating violence on February 23rd at Carver High School in Columbus, Georgia. The program addressed ways to identify, address, prevent, and intervene in cases of teen dating violence. For resources to prevent teen dating violence, please visit Youth gov at the link below. Georgia DJJ attended the Power of Peace Project's 12th anniversary celebration at Northside Church in Kennesaw. The Power of Peace Project is a nonprofit organization committed to redirecting underserved youth, reducing youth crime, and rehabilitating young inmates. 21 DJJ youth completed Kid Commons Power of Peace project program last year in Eastman, Georgia. Congratulations to everyone involved in the Power of Peace project. It was that time of the year where we freeze for a reason as DJJ participated in the Special Olympic Polar Plunge. DJJ members dove into the icy waters of Aqua Beach to raise funds for the Special Olympics. The team wore black, garnet, and burgundy colors in memory of the late Deputy Commissioner Victor Roberts and his commitment to Special Olympics. Thanks to your support, we were able to raise $5,700 this year. DJJ would like to thank everyone who attended and helped facilitate the DJJ Town Hall meeting at Middle Georgia State University in Macon on February 21st. Guest speaker Gary Moore gave a dynamic presentation on leadership in the 21st century, providing tips we can use as well as showing us conversations we should be having around generational awareness and inclusion. Well, first of all, the, the audience or the clients that you actually have that you service, realizing and understanding that in the 21st century, the way that we've always led and the things that we've always done is changing times. We've got to do things differently. Um, my, top, my takeaway from today was really great. Um, it's about communication, what we can do as an agency, as different units, departments that come together to make changes. It's all about changes. We've got to start somewhere. So if we could come together, different, different backgrounds, different generation. Um, today's uh, town hall meeting was wonderful because it offered the change that I'm hoping to see always in that we make modifications along the way and changes to reflect those people who do the best of our business, which is frontline, caring for the youth, taking care of the youth, and how the executive team is working towards listening to that and making the changes to accommodate those things. DJJ is grateful for these opportunities to collaborate as a team and present speakers who share their knowledge that assist staff in developing their leadership talents. We look forward to continuing to provide an atmosphere that prioritizes the exchange of new ideas and encourages a multi-generational workforce to succeed professionally and thrive personally. DJJ held a graduation ceremony for Basic Juvenile Correctional Officer Training Class Number 257 on February 10th at the Georgia Public Safety Training Center in Forsyth, Georgia. These cadets will now join the ranks of other juvenile correctional officers across the state. Thank you for your commitment to serving our youth and the state of Georgia. Coming up, 
events you can look forward to in the coming months. But first, this. Uh, my name is Spencer Godet. I'm a senior project engineer at the Department of Juvenile Justice with the engineering department. I've been with the Department of Juvenile Justice since 2012. The engineering department um, is responsible for the, the maintenance and upkeep of all of our facilities. We also focus on making sure that our environments are, are safe and secure for our youth and staff. My role also is to be involved in the design and engineering of new facilities as well. That is all for this edition of the DJJ Update. Thank you for watching and look out for the next edition in May.